A healthy economy depends on many things, but ultimately it begins with what people do together. Working, playing, and living in communities that support and connect with each other. That connection is part of what earned the Kansas City region a $50 million Tiger Grant, awarded in 2010 by the U.S. Department of Transportation. A number of cities and agencies, Kansas City, Kansas, Mission, Overland Park, Johnson County, the Area Transit Authority, Kansas City, Missouri, Independence and others pulled together to help create a compelling vision. Rather than competing with one another, we cooperated and were able to secure an investment consistent with the federal vision that we jumpstart our economic recovery but also reposition our transportation infrastructure for the economy of tomorrow. And now, after three years, goals have become plans. Plans have become reality. And the region has a physical investment in a shared vision. The most immediate and direct economic impact of the Tiger Grant was jobs for architects, engineers, project managers, construction crews. The work stretched across many communities with close collaboration among public and private partners. Transportation improvements range from the construction of three new transit centers in Mission and Kansas City, Kansas, to new bus stops with amenities like shelters and kiosks with real-time information, updates that make public transit a much more desirable choice. On Missouri transit corridors, improved bus stops and shelters are making a difference for many riders. We have an, an aging population just like the rest of the region more and more people are going to need public transportation and we know that those numbers are only going to rise over time. Urban areas in the city were slated for improvements too. If we are not able to get people to opportunities for employment, it's going to be very difficult to change the trajectory of their lives. Tiger funds were strategically invested in the Green Impact Zone, a 150 block area in Kansas City's urban core. Traffic signals and equipment were updated, streets resurfaced, sidewalks and curbs repaired, and new trees planted, creating an environment where people can walk in their neighborhoods and travel safely to grocery stores and jobs. And Tiger Funds built a pedestrian walkway along the newly rebuilt Troost Avenue Bridge. This is a bridge and this is a project that we believe will slowly and surely alleviate and wipe out that distinct line between the east and west parts of Kansas City, Missouri. No more splitting the city. We're bridging the gap. All in all, hundreds of people and dozens of contractors were hired to build the 103 Tiger projects in this region. And where possible, funds were spent locally, like at Dimensional Innovations, where 30 transit shelters and 38 kiosks were built, and the historic Winkler clock was restored. The amount of people involved in, in putting one of these shelters together, uh, all said and done, we've probably got at least 20 people working on each one individually. And everything from raw materials to sub-assemblies to the manufacturing itself is done right here in America. Tiger's effect on the Kansas City region goes beyond an infusion of money and jobs. The infrastructure improvements funded by the grant are already accelerating the growth and redevelopment of adjoining areas. In the green impact zone, where the quality of life was in steady decline, the Tiger projects are attracting new residents and investors. Nobody wants to make an investment in a neighborhood that's going down. Solid, new curbs and sidewalks says this neighborhood is not about to uh, go down and I can make an investment. And that's what's happening as organizations like the Make It Right Foundation expand opportunities in the green impact zone riding the momentum of the Tiger Project. In Gladstone, Missouri, Tiger funding is helping to bring a new downtown center to life. I think the development of these transit, the new transit stops, has a huge impact on the city of Gladstone for our residents and beyond who want to come here to take advantage of the cultural amenities that we're establishing in the downtown area. We have to have transit access to be able to kickstart redevelopment, revitalization, and then we're ready for all of the new things that are coming into our cities. In Northeast Johnson County, the new gateway development will create 1,500 new jobs in one location alone, and a big increase in people coming into and out of the area. 
A similar vision went into the plan for the 47th and State Avenue Transit Center, which also houses a police substation and the area agency on aging. The reason this facility was sited where it is, this was requested by the leadership of Wyandotte County, by the Unified Government Mayor and the Unified Government Commission. They wanted this facility here to help stimulate and act as a catalyst for redevelopment of this site and of this surrounding area. And in Overland Park, improvements along the Metcalf Corridor are creating a path to an economic revival. This project helps us take another step towards our goals for Vision Metcalf. We believe that these transit infrastructure improvements will indeed promote economic development and job creation. These Tiger improvements are the seeds of economic development, making the connections possible to support growth in the entire Kansas City region. This transit center will not only provide transportation to citizens in our community, we're also going to connect to other transit systems as well. That way we can get folks all over this region to any part of Kansas City. The Johnson County bus now comes over and has a couple of stops on Troost. And we know that over the years a lot of the businesses have moved to Kansas, they've moved north, they've moved a number of places. And so uh, the Tiger Grant then is going to open up those corridors so that people that live in the central city will now have much better access to more jobs, uh, to better jobs, access to health uh, facilities, etc. The Tiger Project does not just connect different geographic communities in the region. It connects our past, present, and future. The Transit Center at 7th and Minnesota in Kansas City, Kansas, sits on land held in trust since 1843 for the Wyandotte Nation and bears the seals of its tribes to commemorate this shared history. On another corner stands the Winkler Clock, originally installed nearly a century ago. Newly renovated and out of retirement, the clock is a suitable symbol of better times to come for individuals and communities. The completion of the projects included in the Tiger uh, development, we hope will result in more interaction between cultures and classes that we will realize that our economic viability depends on all of us, both city and suburban. Tiger Investment is intended to serve people. It's intended to serve the folks who live here, the folks who get up every day and want to get to a job in another part of town. And in doing so, if we can do that, we can create healthier communities. And healthier communities create healthier economies. And so it benefits everybody. We benefit from it personally, we benefit from it as a community, we benefit from it as a region.